Hi, and welcome to part 8 of my Hackintosh guide. My name is uh, Snule, and this part is going to be a couple of quick follow-ups uh, on questions I got uh, from other YouTubers about minor details and how you do uh, fix some of the small issues. <laughs> First, uh, I'm going to show you we'll go on a website here called kexts.com this is where I got the, the kexts needed for my motherboard and there are a lot of things here there's drivers for um, different network cards there's some tools here there's bootloaders there's kext for video cards, both ATI and NVIDIA, as you can see here. Uh, but what we're interested in is a USB image for the motherboard I've used, and hopefully many of you have used to build your own Hackintosh. And there's for the um, Gigabyte GAEX58 UD5, uh, there's different versions Basically, there's some improvements to um, to the kexts and some DSDT tweaks and stuff like that. We're gonna go into the latest version, which is the 4.0 at the at this moment. And I accept here that kext.com is not responsible responsible for any damage caused by using this download. I'm gonna download it and. It says here boot. I'm using Firefox. I'm not sure if uh, that's the reason. It only says boot. Uh, maybe if you're using Safari or Chrome, it might download as a DMG because it's a DMG. And here's the file. As you see, it's boot DMG. When you double click it, it opens, and here's the stuff we need. Um, the few issues we're gonna go into is um, drive icons on um, my drive icon here for the hard drive you will see that it's like it should be if you installed according to my um, previous guide you will have orange icons and that's icon that is normal for external drives and there's a way to fix that also there's um, this information in it about this Mac is not correct if um, if you don't do the steps that I'll show you how to do it will show unknown CPU and very wrong information about the memory and also in here when you go to the more details you can see now that it shows Mac Pro, Quad Core, Xeon correct speed and also bus speed and all that is correct before I did the changes I will show you it it showed in here that it was a Mac Mini 2.1 and I don't know about you guys but I've never seen a Mac Mini with the i7 what we're gonna do is look into this boot 4.0 and you have this folder called extra and you have the the folder with called additional extensions and here's a kext called orange icon fix dot kext you want to use that to fix the drive icon and where you need to put it is on your Hackintosh drive in uh, extra and extensions when you go into that folder, if you ex installed uh, after my guide, you will already have fake smc.kext. You will have a couple of others, the platform UUID. And what you just do to get this here is just drag it from this one and drop it right there. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. To fix the information about uh, 
your computer, you need to take this smbios.plist and drop it into your extra the extra folder on your Hackintosh drive. I don't know what you call it. I, I call it Hackintosh HD. You just go in there and extra. And you will probably not have that list. It might be there. What you need to do is take that from the image and just drop it. And the file contains a lot of information here in code about what kind of <coughs> uh, machine you have. Uh, about the clock speed and all that. This is just text. It doesn't actually detect what you have. But this is made for um, the, the, the GA EX58 motherboard, so it should be correct. And after you've done that, you need to take out the USB drive that you hopefully made when you installed OS X that you had the texts on. I'm going to input in mine and go to my folder and when you have put these files in the extra folder of your hard drive you just double click kext utility and enter your password and press OK and what uh, kext utility will do then is repair disk permissions uh, in the extras folder and also in the um, system folder library extensions which is where you have your audio drivers like uh, like I have here HD enabler so Kex utility f just will repair disk permissions in those two locations so you don't have to do it manually through disk utility another thing um, had some questions about the boot screen and um, how to fix the icon on the boot screen because on my boot screen it says my hack removing the isoc from ihack uh, like this and the way to fix it is actually also in the hackintosh on the Hackintosh drive, Hackintosh HD, you go into your extra folder and your theme folder. And there's a default theme. That's the theme that came with Empire EFI. And if you see here, all these images is what is used for the bootloader and also the boot uh, screen, boot screen with the Apple logo. Um, Basically, you only need to replace one file, and that's a file called boot.png. And here you see I replaced the default file with a gray apple. And it's a PNG file, so it's transparent around the apple. And this is the boot screen as it is now. As you see here on the boot image, there's quite a few uh, different boot themes you can use and some of them are really nice so it could be cool to tinker around with it maybe see if some of them do work and also you can use um, pixelmator or whatever and create your own boot theme because these are just image files I've seen some pretty cool ones, and uh, I can show you a few of them. Here's if you go to Google and just Google for chameleon theme, you will find a couple of uh, nice themes. Here's a bootloader. So if you have a second uh, internal hard drive and you have Windows on it or Linux or whatever, you see when you boot up you can choose which operating system you want to use. Um, here's another one, looks pretty good. And um, here's the one I like a lot. That you get this as a boot screen. 
have to choose between the operating systems you run. Basically you can make your own, you can download some cool ones and just have fun with it.